You've probably seen the headline. SWIFT, the network that moves trillions of dollars a day, is now testing blockchain settlements on Linea. Yes, the same global banking system that crypto was built to replace is quietly building on top of it. But what exactly is Linea? Why is MetaMask, the world's biggest Web3 wallet, backing it? And why are the same institutions that feared crypto now using its technology to move their money? Let's break it down and see how the financial system and the crypto rails are starting to merge. Linea is a layer 2 network built on Ethereum, designed by Consensus, the same company behind MetaMask. Its goal is simple, make Ethereum faster, cheaper, and ready for global scale, without sacrificing security or decentralization. Think of it as an express lane built above Ethereum's highway, moving traffic without clogging the main road. Instead of processing every transaction directly on the main chain, Linea bundles thousands together, compresses them off-chain, and sends a single verified proof back to Ethereum. That process is powered by something called zero-knowledge proofs, advanced cryptography that lets you prove something is true without revealing every detail of it. The result? Transactions that are faster, cheaper, and just as secure as Ethereum itself. So how does Linea actually work? It's powered by something called a ZKVM, a zero-knowledge Ethereum virtual machine. In plain English, it lets developers run the same apps they already use on Ethereum, but with transactions proven mathematically, not manually. Every batch of activity on Linea is verified with a cryptographic proof, a compact piece of math that says, everything here is valid, you don't need to check every step. That proof is then sent back to Ethereum, locking in security at a fraction of the cost. No shortcuts, no side chains, just pure Ethereum, scaled by math. It's the difference between human trust and mathematical certainty, and that's the foundation of Linea's power. Linea isn't just another scaling project. It's what happens when Web3 stops being a theory and starts becoming the default. It connects ordinary users, developers, and entire economies through a single shared layer of trust. The same tools once used by crypto communities are now building the digital backbones of nations. Because the real revolution isn't who invented the tech, it's who learns to use it first. It's ironic. Blockchain was built to move beyond banks, and now banks are moving onto blockchain. SWIFT, once seen as the old guard of finance, is testing Linea to settle tokenized assets, digital versions of money, stocks, and bonds. The goal isn't just speed, it's control. If transactions can move securely on-chain, SWIFT can stay relevant, not by fighting the system, but by rebuilding itself inside it. For crypto, that's both validation and surrender. It means the rails of DeFi are quietly merging into the bloodstream of traditional finance. Because the real power shift isn't about decentralization anymore. It's about who controls the code. And if the banks start writing it, the revolution might already be theirs. Here's what really matters. Linea isn't a meme coin. It's infrastructure. It's Ethereum's ZK-powered express lane. Built by Consensus, the same company behind MetaMask. Secured by math, not marketing. Fast, permissionless, and already bank-tested. The world's biggest financial network, SWIFT, is testing it right now. The line between DeFi and TradFi isn't being crossed, it's disappearing. And the code that was meant to free us is now the foundation banks are learning to master. The blockchain didn't kill the system, it taught the system how to evolve. Linea isn't just another layer two. It's proof that the system didn't reject crypto it absorbed it. The future of finance won't be built against the banks, it'll be built through them. Because in the end, revolution doesn't always roar. Sometimes it whispers. If you want to understand the quiet revolutions shaping our world, subscribe before the next one happens in silence.